Where is that interminable idiot? <sighs> Sammy would never abide such tardiness. No, if Sammy were here, Mickey wouldn't be so late, would he? You could set your watch by... Sammy. What, literally? No, not literally, you ignoramus. Sorry I'm late, boys. Traffic was dreadful. You know, Sammy wouldn't like this, would he, Mickey? Well, I think it's acceptable, given the circumstances. I'm still in mourning, after all. You got crisps? Ah, oh, uh, no, this is, um... Go on. Give us one. No, it's... Come on, what would Sammy say, Mickey? This is Sammy. What? Sammy's in there? What are you blathering on about, Mickey? It's his ashes. What's the poor fellow cremate? No, his old body's been compressed into that box. That must, must have hurt. hurt. Yes, he was cremated. And the cremator gave me his ashes when I told him I was his brother. Are you his brother? Well, uh, I think so. Could well be. So, these are the remains of the great Sammy Medelev. You know, even the giants can be compressed into the smallest of cubicles. He was a giant indeed. He took the whole world and made it look like this. Locked him in the old Kent Road. <laughs> well now, my esteemed colleagues, now that we have his remains here with us, does anybody know what to do with them? It was in the summer that Sammy and I first crossed paths. I was one of the lost. One of the un- Enlightened. And then it happened. Like a blind man regaining his sight. Reality was put into place for me, and everything fell into focus. He made things clean. He taught me about philosophy. I was so lucky to be exactly where I was. That was Sammy. That was what he did for me. And that is why I shall be in charge of procuring his final resting place. Preposterous. Sammy would never have put up with his sycophantic tripe. He would so have done. No, he wouldn't. Get back here with it. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Give it to me. Stop this nonsense. Put it down on the table now, Daniel. He doesn't touch it. Both of you, relax. Put it on the table. Now then, gentlemen, let's be pragmatic about this. Sammy deserves a send-off worthy of Bojangles, and I say we give it to him. Oh yeah, by the way, what did happen to his fiddle? 
Oh, yes. What did happen to his fiddle? I genuinely don't know. You didn't take it. Did you? How dare you? That would be blasphemy. Sammy would deign no one to touch his fiddle. Sammy and the fiddle. Etched on the senses it is. Sammy Medelev dancing on the banks of the Thames. An enduring image symbolising... Uh, um, symbolising what? Um, the traditional folk artist struggling against the capitalist system, the, the skyscape. Makes sense to me. And, realistically, that's the way Sammy would have liked it. In fact, I think we should put him in the River Thames. <laughs> Makes sense to me. We are not depositing him in the Thames. Oh, it's just... What a dreadfully banal concept! It's sheer... Sammy would squirm at the notion! It's sheer bloody genius, makes, though! Makes sense to me. That's where we'll put him. Put Sammy down! In the river! Okay, boys, it looks as though I should take responsibility for this, since the two of you can't seem to be able to work it out. These aren't ashes, Mickey. Oh dear. You imbecile, Mickey! You've brought actual crisps! Well, you can see how I could make a mistake. So where's the real ashes? Oh, well, that was rather anticlimactic. Yeah, indeed. I couldn't be more sorry, Jabs. Well, I guess that's okay then, isn't it, Mickey? I suppose Sammy would appreciate the irony. What irony? Um, I'm not sure. But it's there somewhere. Look, lads, I've got to go to the um, uh, um. Oh, right, to the. Um, yeah, that's it, exactly. Uh, same time next year? Indeed, Mickey. I suppose 